because there are no agents involved in this negotiation, but there is the father of the player, Mark Bellingham, who is taking care of the discussions, and Jude always told him that he wanted to join a historical club. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. Today, guys, I wanted to touch on one of the biggest deals we'll have in the summer, Jude Bellingham. I gave you a breaking important news a few days ago about Real Madrid close to full agreement with Jude Bellingham on personal terms. What's going on right now? Is that a done deal or not yet? Let's jump into the details together. And guys, let me start on this Jude Bellingham deal telling you what I told you during the week. I keep saying the same. The agreement between Jude Bellingham and Real Madrid on personal terms is more than close. It's almost done. It's very, very close and almost completed. What's the point? Long-term contract, agreed. Bellingham is happy with the length of the contract. Salary, agreed. Bellingham is very happy with that. Release clause, potentially to be included. Bellingham is open on that. They are still discussing on that point, but this is not going to create any issue. The release clause would be 1 billion euros. So not a normal clause, but a crazy clause. And it's very obvious because Jude Bellingham is an incredible player. But also important to say that Jude Bellingham is very happy on the possibility to join an historical club. This is a point that he always mentioned to his father, Mark because there are no agents involved in this negotiation, but there is the father of the player, Mark Bellingham, who is taking care of the discussions, and Jude always told him that he wanted to join a historical club as priority. Then we know in the market many things happen, but that was his priority. So this is the situation. The green light from Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid, as I told you three days ago, is already almost in place. What's the point? Now, before saying done deal, completed, the point is the negotiation. Real Madrid, Borussia Dortmund. What's the point? From Borussia Dortmund, they guarantee that at the moment there is still no official bid from Real Madrid, but sources close to the process of the negotiation confirm that there is already a meeting scheduled between Real Madrid and Borussia Dortmund very soon, this month, in May, in the next days, to discuss the terms of the deal. So Real Madrid will make an official bid. They have an excellent relationship with Borussia Dortmund, and this is a point. Why things are not done yet between clubs? Because Real Madrid, as big friends of Borussia Dortmund, they want to respect their situation. Borussia Dortmund are in the title race. It's an historical moment for Borussia Dortmund. They are going to compete to win the Bundesliga. And Jude Bellingham is their crucial player. So they don't want to disturb Borussia Dortmund in this moment. They want to do things in the most correct way. So what's the point? They will try to complete the negotiation in May because Real Madrid are... Still thinking that, for example, the leaks in the media for the Mbappe story and many others created some problem to complete those contracts. So they're trying to keep things private also for their own interest, because having things in the media is not helping, but also for the interest of Borussia Dortmund, because they don't want the player to be distracted or attacked by some situation right now. So the time is going to be a factor in any case. This is an important part of the story. This is why we can't stay here we go yet, because it depends on the timing of the negotiation. But the meeting is already scheduled. It's going to be a very uh, friendly meeting, because the relationship between the two clubs is very good. Also, they will go there, Real Madrid, with the yes of the player in their hands. And this is really important. How much could be the price tag? We wait for that meeting, but sources close to the negotiation feel that 120, 130 million euros, add-ons included, could be the right price to complete the negotiation. They have to discuss about the add-ons, easy add-ons, complicated add-ons, in case Real Madrid will win La Liga, in case Real Madrid will win the Champions League, in case maybe Jude Bellingham will win the Ballon d'Or, could be another add-on to be included in the negotiation. So they will discuss about that, but for sure there will be a meeting discussing on the price tag and trying to close the deal. This is the point. Let me mention two more things. The first one, the other clubs. Paris Saint-Germain feel that their name was used to rise the price around Jude Bellingham. They appreciate the player, of course, but they knew that for Jude Bellingham there were different priorities with Real Madrid as top priority for this summer transfer window. And so Paris Saint-Germain were never really in the race in terms of making an official bid. Also, Manchester City, always been in the race. Man City remain interested in Jude Bellingham. They want Jude Bellingham. They tried their best. Uh, to have Jude Bellingham at the club, but they also feel, as of today, that Real Madrid have a match point, that they are the biggest favorite. This is a proper match point for Real Madrid. They have to close the deal with Borussia Dortmund and they have to do it as soon as possible. Manchester City remain there, interested, but they know that Real Madrid are prepared to close this negotiation. 
Liverpool are out of the race because they're focused on signing more players for that budget, including Alexis McAllister. It was my news this week telling you that Liverpool are really pushing on that one and that McAllister will 100% leave Brighton in the summer. And so this is the club's situation around Jude Bellingham. Let me clarify one more thing. It's really important to mention Juni Calafat, the Real Madrid director, because he's the man who's been traveling to meet with the father of Jude Bellingham to discuss with Borussia Dortmund multiple times, to have conversations, especially on the player side, on the project side, and on the contract side, to convince Jude Bellingham. That was not an easy mission, because when you have Man City, when you have Liverpool, when you have many clubs involved, it's never that easy to, to make it happen. But Juni Calafat is still working on that. They want at Real Madrid to be careful before saying there is a done deal because they have to negotiate with Dortmund, but they have a big match point. And if they are at this point of the story in May for Jude Bellingham, it's thanks to the incredible work of Juni Calafat. And so guys, let me know your thoughts on this Bellingham story. What do you think about this Real Madrid deal? Do you think this is a good deal? or maybe too expensive. I want your opinion. I think this is an incredible one for Real Madrid or any club will sign Jude Bellingham will do a fantastic, fantastic deal. I want your opinion, guys. Hit in the comments. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.